Uh, in this video, we'll try to talk about the different types of power uh, in AC systems. And this or these power calculations are governed in what we call the power triangle. So we'll see all these types of power, what is their formulas, and then we will come and try to put all of them together in the power triangle. So let's start that we have a voltage and a current both AC. So my voltage has a magnitude of V, an angle of theta V. My current I has a magnitude I and an angle of theta I. Now the power or the average power or the real power or the active power, these are all named for the same thing. P is equal to V I cosine theta V minus theta I. This is the video I derived this formula. You can refer to that uh, to that video. Okay, so it's V I cosine theta V minus theta I. We call this the power factor. For short, we'll call this is V I cosine theta. So theta V minus theta I, we'll call it theta, which is the power factor angle. Now, this power, the unit here is what? Now, let's see special cases. When we have pure R, pure resistance. So when we have pure R, the voltage and the currents will be in phase. So the theta V will equal to the theta I. So hence, the power here, P equal to V I cosine zero, which is equal to one. So this is equal to V I, which is the same formula for the DC. So the AC power, the average AC power in uh, uh, pure resistance is equivalent to the power in the DC circuit of also the, the resistance. Now, if we have pure L, or C, now there is a phase shift between the angle of the current and the angle of the voltage. So in the inductor, actually the current lag the voltage by 90 degree, and in the capacitor, the current leads the voltage by 90 degree. So now your formula P will equal to VI co plus minus 90 depends if it's an inductor or a capacitor, and all of this is equal to zero. So the inductors and the capacitors, they don't consume any real power, only the, the resistance. So that's for the real power. Now, if the inductor and the capacitor do not consume real power, what they consume, they, there is another form of power, we call it reactive power. And this is Q, and it's very similar to this formula. It's VI, but instead of cosine, it is sine theta V minus theta I, or VI sine theta for short. Now, the unit here is volt amp reactive, or VAR. This is the unit for the, for the Q. Now, the Q... For the resistance, if we have pure R, again, it's in a phase shift. So Q is equal to VI sine of zero, which is equal to zero. So the resistance does not consume any reactive power. Or, or on the other hand, if we have pure L, Q will equal to VI sine theta V minus theta I. Now we know that the current lags the voltage, so we'll have always a negative angle and it's minus 90. So this will be sine of zero minus minus 90 or equal to VI sine of 90, which is equal to VI. So the inductor consumes reactive power. If we have pure C, the Q will equal to VI. Now the current lead the voltage. So it is sine of zero 
minus 90 because the, ang the current angle is higher than the voltage by 90. So it's equal to VI sine of minus 90, which is equal to minus VI. So the capacitor actually consumes negative reactive power or produces reactive power. So the inductor consumes the reactive power and the capacitor produces this reactive power. So now we have the P real average active power or Q reactive power. Now we can put these two together and this is will be your S. The complex power equal to P plus J Q and the unit is volt amp. So this is called the complex power. This is a complex power. Now the magnitude of this is equal to P square plus Q square. Again, the unit is volt amp and this is called the apparent power. So the vector form of it is called the complex power. And the magnitude of this vector is called the apparent power. So let me now put everything we learn in one triangle. It's a right angle triangle. So this is your P, this is your Q, and this is your S. So S is equal to P squared plus Q squared under the square root. Now, what is this angle? This is theta, the power factor angle. So now I can find the power of one knowing the, uh, the other power or knowing the angle and another power. So we have four quantities. S, P, Q, and theta. We always know two of these two uh, four quantities, and then we can find the rest. For example, what is cosine theta is equal to P over S. So P is equal to S times cosine theta. What is sine theta? It's equal to Q over S. What is tan theta? is equal to Q over, over P. So this power triangle summarizes all different types of power in one simple geometry that using it, we can find all other types of, of power. 